hi guys thank you so much for tuning into my channel i wanted to start something new on my channel where we take the time to um discover explore black work black artists um <laughs> basically anything done by black people that i am currently enjoying being in books music um beauty products fashion i just wanted to come here on fridays and highlight one person or a group of work every Friday and share that with you guys so yeah I hope you guys like this new series um, if you want me to um, talk about some artists some um, it could even be activists really anything that a specific black person is doing highlighting the work of a specific black person let me know in the comment section so yeah let's just get it started so I've been doing a lot of reading over the last year, year and a half, although most of the books that I've been reading are non-fictional. I did, however, come across this book um, by Mbolo Mbue and it's called Behold the Dreamers. So you might see me looking down, that's because I'm looking at my phone because I have all my notes here. And yeah, so Mbolo Mbue um, wrote this book. Mbolo Mbue is a Cameroonian American author. This book was published in 2016 and it is called Behold the Dreamers. It is about the life, the journey of um, a Cameroonian family as they established themselves in the United States. So the protagonist's name is Jende Jonga and he is a Cameroonian trying to seek asylum in the United States. He brings over his uh, wife from Cameroon who comes in as a student. She already has a child who comes with her and she also gives birth to a child who by default is an American citizen. Throughout the book we're taking through Jende's uh, story through asylum. We're also taking through his wife's story as an immigrant in the United States as a student in the United States and we also get to see the dynamics between um, this African family and other African African communities in New York because the book is based in New York and you also see the dynamics between immigrant um, employees and their white uh, employers. I think it's a really good book specifically because it highlights how the black experience how we can have several different black experiences and it was just written so well so i did not read the book i actually got it on audible so if you want to get the book on audible you can definitely click the link below if if it's your first time on audible you usually get your first book for free so yeah i really hope you guys choose to check this book out i didn't want to disclose too many things about the book but one thing that i really wanted to talk about one thing that i really loved that they touched base on in this book was um with regards to uh Jende's wife and her journey within the academic system and the obstacles that she um she faces by virtue of being a black immigrant. Jende's wife has this idea that everything is is um everything is just there for the taking and people who are not taking advantage of those opportunities are basically lazy and she criticizes uh her senegalese friend for being in the same position even though she's been in the united states for so long and her dream is really to become a pharmacist but when she gets into school she then realizes that it's not just about having this dream and having those resources and there are people who are intentionally limiting stopping black people from actually achieving those goals sometimes not all the time but sometimes you basically see how that changes her her way of uh, thinking and the way she's been assuming and judging different groups throughout her experience in the United States. I really, I really like the book for that. The book explores so many themes. It explores xenophobia and anti-blackness. It explores the dynamics between uh, black employees and their white employers. Um, it explores African culture as well as misogyny in African cultures and patriarchy and how that basically affects um, women's experiences. I 
thoroughly enjoyed this book I definitely recommend it if I was to read it I would probably give it a 3.9 out of 5 but that is really because I read the book on I listened to the book on audible and Whoa, the Cameroonian accent was a miss. It was a miss on Audible, but it wasn't the worst thing ever. So anyway, I definitely recommend you guys check Imbolo Mbue out, check her books out. She currently has a new book out and it is called How Beautiful We Are, which is about a village where a um, oil is discovered in that village. And um, it's basically about the life experiences of the um, villages in in that area and i already purchased the book on audible but i have not started it but that is the next book from her that i will be reading i really hope you guys check her out and um, she's the first person from our series um <laughs> thank you guys for tuning into this video and i will see you guys in the next one ciao so i wanted to write about an immigrant from my country who gets a job as a chauffeur for Lehman Brothers executive, but of course they're immigrant, you know, coming here for the American dream and facing the financial crisis. I wanted to write about how that affected him and and how um, and and also you know explore like the, the dreams and hopes he had for himself when he came to America. So I ended up writing about the immigrant experience, the coming here, the realizing what America really is like, yeah. and also deciding whether it is really worth staying here. <laughs>